Hey everyone, Andy Park here. Uh, it's that time again, another box opening. Um, this one, I've been sitting on this one and I've actually got it in the mail a couple weeks ago, um, probably even over a month ago, but I've been so busy with the holidays, with work, so I've been patiently waiting and waiting to finally getting around to doing this video because I wanted to open it in front of you guys for the very first time and to experience it with you all. So no, it's not Captain Marvel. Um, of course, that's, I can't wait for that one, but that one's gonna be eventually, that'll come out after the movie. And the, this one is special to me because it's a character I got to design on the Black Panther film, T'Chaka. So that was a film that Ryan Minerding um, got to lead for the, um, the Marvel Studios biz dev team. Um, as some of you know, I also lead the Viz Dev team, visual development team of artists, and we, you know, we split the movies. Myself and Ryan, and Ryan led Black Panther, but we also help each other out on the films. So, for example, like I led Thor Ragnarok, but he helped out designing Hulk on that film. So on on Black Panther, he asked me to help out designing T'Chaka. So I had the pleasure of designing Black Panthers father and his the original Black Panther look um, in T'Chaka and I was so happy when Hot Toys decided to make a figure of him so here it is Black Panther T'Chaka never opened check that out still sealed so I'm gonna open it together with you right now so here it is T'Chaka Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Here we go. Let's see. No. Okay. It's cool, like usual. They have their cast and crew credits of all the amazing artists and workers over at Hot Toys. There he is. Take that off. Wow, look at that. Let me take all this off before I show you good views of him. Oh no. No! I hope that's uh Oh uh, it's peel coming off. Oh man. That plastic did that because I see that the plastic grabbed onto it so I guess I have to be a little bit more careful on this side oh it's grabbing onto this one oh, it's like my if you guys watch my hello hot toy I dropped her head no! but it didn't break oh, but gosh. unfortunately this one this little piece right here is starting to come off if you can see that I'll just have to glue that back down uh, what I get for doing these videos. I'm not as careful because I'm trying to do it fast for you guys. The original design, um, I did a lot of back and forth as myself, uh, Rodney Fuentebella, we were doing a lot of different designs on T'Chaka and what ended up happening was I got I got the overall design from the helmet to the the bodysuit, the more baggier pants. They wanted you know somewhat kind of like ninja pants, and then they liked this piece, this sash piece, that um, Ronnie did on one of his designs. So I incorporated that piece, and then what happened was um, as they moved forward, um, they ended up deciding to use the um, the Civil War. Um, suit so pretty much from the neck to here to here and probably the feet I'm assuming and maybe the legs here um, those that's based on the Civil War Black Panther suit um, that was designed by Ryan 
So this overall design is pretty much a collaboration between myself, um, Rodney Fontabella and Ryan Minerding. Um, yeah, it was really fun. You know, this time we got to play with the gold. Um, definitely was trying to infuse a lot, a lot more of that traditional tribal African um, look with the clothing, incorporating the clothing along with the superhero suit, the vibranium weaves, um, and then with the helmet. That's the part that, you know, I had the most amount of fun just designing that Black Panther mask. And I wanted to do it in a different way than his Civil War look or his very updated uh, Black Panther mask helmet that you see in the Black Panther film, which was designed by Adi Granoff. Um, this one, I wanted to definitely bring in the golds um, to bring in that kind of royal, the royalty. As, you know, that's why there's a lot of the purples to bring in that kind of regal look. Um, I wanted to, you know, definitely the gold eyes, I think, brought a lot to the character, as well as bringing a lot of the panther motifs. So bringing in the, the, the animal, the panther, the nose, um, down to the cheekbones and the ears, you know, trying to play with all of those details and trying to bring in that look, um, even subtle lines within the face that are both tribal and also trying to bring in little um, hints of like whiskers, um, striations, just a lot of detail in the helmet that would bring um, kind of a history and a reality and a believability to him being the king of Wakanda. You know, I did the initial concept of the helmet and then the, the fun, other fun, fun part of my job is getting to work with our resident 3D um, artist in Adam Ross. So he would take our concept art and start modeling um, the helmet. And then I worked with him extensively to go, we went back and forth. So he would model something. Um, I would take a look at it, take, he would give me screenshots and I would paint over it to further refine and detail out exactly every nook and cranny of like, what is this helmet gonna look like? So um, that's what we did back and forth until we got this final look. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. It's really cool to see come to life on the big screen and then it's just a just as cool to be able to see it come to life in person okay, let's see what else comes with it uh, it's pretty much there's not a lot of stuff it's pretty much just a stand which is a you know a cool Wakanda Black Panther logo that says T'Chaka, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Oh, those are just extra nubbins. And then, oh, cool. We get the bracelet, and pretty much the only other thing you get are the different hands. But these are pretty cool. You know, with claws retracted, and then the claws extended. And then the same thing goes for the other side, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And just like the other Black, the Civil War Black Panthers, you know, it's posable in all the different ways. I usually don't like going crazy with the posing. I was the same way when I used to collect toys back in the mid to late 80s with my Transformers and G.I. Joe. I, I never liked moving the joints and the, posing them too much because I never wanted the, the joints to get loose. I always like to be able to, to have the stiff joints. Just like as you get older. But this is pretty cool. Let's just do a subtle pose.
Pretty sweet. You know what? I want to change out these hands. Let's see. The hands are usually pretty challenging to put on, but let's see. Let's see if I can do this. So here's the hand. You never, I never know if they're actually in because you don't hear like a pop. But that's kind of cool. Stand. You gotta just put the other hand. I like the claws extended. Oh, that didn't sound, that didn't sound good. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Ah, oh, the, the claws are actually pretty sharp. Ow! Same with these things. These are pretty sharp. Hurt, hurt my finger. So check that out. Here we go. That's pretty cool. Leave that there. So yeah, check it out. King of Wakanda. T'Chaka. Pretty awesome. Awesome, okay, I guess that's it. Um, the next Hot Toys I'm look, really looking forward to, of course, are the Ant-Man and Wasp Hot Toys, and then, of course, eventually, the Captain Marvel Hot Toy, the, the teaser that they released. She looks really awesome, and, uh, I really enjoyed designing that that costume, so I really can't wait for that. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with this Tachaka hot toy. Hope you guys dig it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, I'll contact forever. See you guys, bye.